We want to build a new inclusive economy and so we are expanding access to capital and making it easier to smash through glass ceilings. We want young Bahamians to build their lives here. We want all Bahamians to be financially literate. We are expanding access to technology and investing $250 million in Bahamian businesses. We are expanding tourism and we are diversifying our economy. We are making a historic investment in our culture. Agriculture is big business, and we are determined to reduce our nation's food import bill and to create new ownership and entrepreneurial opportunities for Bahamians, at the same time reducing our vulnerability to external shocks. We will continue to pursue growth in GDP and revenue, maximize the amount of investment in the country, and maintain efforts to reduce our debt. That said, we will put particular focus on reducing the cost of living and making efforts to lift people out of poverty. There's much to be proud of in the Bahamian legacy built since 1973. What is the legacy that we will leave for the future? Independence conferred on us, conferred on us the status of a free and self-determining nation. Our legacy, our future are in our hands. Let us seize the moment, seize the day, and seize the 50th year of independence. Yes.